when I took anatomy and physiology the first time, I got a 41% overall. Now, y'all be think, y'all might be thinking, how you get a 41%? It hit a point in a semester where I'm literally studying for hours and days and weeks, and I'm failing every single quiz and exam. At a point in the semester, I said, forget it. I don't know it. Forget it. Forget it. I'm going to stop going to class. Forget it. By the grace of God, I was able to get that grade expunged off my transcript, by the way. That's how I was able to get into nursing school. But I say all that to say, when I took anatomy and physiology the first time, I made a 41%. Today, I'm getting honor roll certificates at my nursing program, and I have a 3.9 GPA, and I don't struggle academically with any classes in nursing school, by the grace of God. But I'm not saying this to brag or boast, I'm saying this to say, anatomy and physiology is really meant to weed out students. I don't care. I'm going to die on this hill. Like, I'm serious. Anatomy and physiology is meant to weed out students. It's hard, it's complex, and it's in detail. In nursing school, it's mostly about concepts, not the atoms of the skull, of the sutures, of the cranial nerves, of the bones, and of the ligaments, and of the tendon. It's not all that. So do not let anatomy and physiology take you out. Keep your head up. If I can do it, trust me, you can do it.